All right, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah Kadash. All right, Dhamma honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, nah, hey. The, the the news around the globe, all right, is it's prophecy constantly hitting. And when I say that, I'm talking about all these uprisings that's happening one after another, all right? In the span of, I don't know, probably four, five days tops, it's been three new uprisings happening, all right? And that's a clear indication that uh, the time is not, man, all right? And when I say that, you got all type of uh, global conflicts going on at one time or another, all right? And when I say that, you have uh, economic collapses happening in uh, certain regions due to uh, faulty governments that were put in play by the so-called white man, which is the, the nation of Edom, all right? His puppets are uh, being ousted as we speak okay and um the the fake uh government that they had set up in iraq it's been torn down all right you got the fake government that they set up in in the the island or uh, uh or for the, the so-called haitian people okay being uh ousted do the greed, okay? And now you got the Ecuadorians, okay? Same thing, man. You know, and and uh, Elder Taha put on a video, uh, not put on a video, but he spoke of the incident that happened down in Mexico, okay? With the, the so-called mayor getting drugged around the streets attached to a, a, a pickup truck. Okay, so a clear cut indication in my mind would be that this is the time that the Lord was speaking about, and um, hey, this, this prophecy's hitting, man. They back to back, man, and these uproars of the people are only because the people are not, uh, they're not. They're not happy. All right. So I'm going to get Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right. And uh, this mourning is going to turn into. Uh, turn into sedition, so to speak. We living in a time of prophecy, man. We living in the last days of the last days, man. And if you can't tell, then I guess you're you're fitted for destruction. I would say, you know. But who knows? You know, the the Most High, uh, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai could have mercy and open your eyes in that last minute, man. Okay. But as as of now, okay. The only people that's doing the the work of the Heavenly Father are the people that's pushing these scriptures. And uh, prophecy, man. Okay, whether you be in other camps, all right, that know that the microchip is the mark of the beast. Okay, that know about the the the, the coming uh, day of the Lord, which is Jacob's trouble. All right, if you're speaking all these things, then you're in the know, man. Okay. 
and may you hold fast to what was taught to you. All right, through the Holy Spirit, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Okay, through the elder apostles of Great Millstone, because definitely uh, the elders always uh, uh, say we have the hundred percent truth. And do I feel the same? I feel the same way, man. Because we're saying things that nobody else would ever say. Or uh, uh, pushing the prophecies that nobody else uh, pushes. Okay. So, Aki. So, going further, right? Is these are the times, man, that the uh, scripture spoke of. Let me get this one right here. This is First Corinthians uh, four and nine. It says, "For I think that the Most High Power, okay, has set forth us the apostles last, as it were, appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Okay, and aren't we that? You know." This is how you know that we fit. We ourselves fit the prophecy, man. Okay? In Great Millstone. So you, you, when we talk about the RFID microchip and we have opposing forces that uh, are demons that speak uh, irrationally about a rational subject that you can see coming into play, the infrastructure is already set up for the... the uh, the mark of the beast, man. Got the five G network towers all around. Okay, you got uh people getting chipped in other lands. All right. And when I say that, you know, mostly Europeans, and uh, on the west coast of North America, and in the Midwest, that uh, three square market. All these uh uh uh. uh vain imaginations shall be cast down, man, that these uh, other so-called Israelite groups are uh, trying to push, man, okay, you can't put in the chip and then take it out, it just, that sounds utterly stupid, man, okay, this thing was manufactured to attach itself to your, uh, to your, your sinew, so to speak, okay, your muscle tendon, your your flesh, okay? And it could kill you, all right? Because it's a foreign object in your body. And it has a lithium battery in it, you know? And that's going to be poisonous to your body, man. But going on, you know, when, when you come up against us, hey, you're just making the prophecies ring louder, man, okay? And everybody can see what's going on. You know, if you got a spiritual eye, now it's time to snap to, man. Snap to, do the work of the Most High and His Son, okay? Which their names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, okay? And the scriptures even tell you to be occupied in prophecy, man. Okay, I won't get it, but uh, I just mentioned it, you know? And that's what we're going to do, man. This is the beautiful time, man. I can't I can't wait to see the chariots all in the heavens, man. To block out the goddamn sky, man. Okay? I can't wait. Alright? Cause it's it's unfair here, man. It's very not unfair, but hey, this this thing is uh we're long suffering. Alright? very long, it's very long suffering here, man, all right, let me get, uh, right to the point, this is second, Ezra 15, and, uh, 14, it says, woe to the world, and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destructions draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, all right, and that's what you see with all these uproars of the people, man, okay, It's gonna be. It's gonna continue, man. Because the Lord said before He comes in Luke, all right, Luke twelve and I think forty or something verse. 
He said that it's going to be a fire kindled already before you come. And that fire kindled before you come is these uh, destructions of, of uproars of people, you know, and the calamities that's happening upon this earth, man, before the Lord touches down, okay? So, yeah, destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and sword in their hands. Okay, and that's what we're going. We're going to see constant clashing, and the biggest clashes yet to come, because when it gets here to the the shore of the North America, okay, Babylon the Great, A.K.A. Uh, Sodom and Egypt, which is America, okay, the bitter place, it's going to be ten times worse. You know, I had a dream the other night about uh. I wasn't really running, man, but I was watching people run from various types of uh, of uh, gangs, man. Gangs going going wild in the street, man. Okay. It's a weird dream, but hey, it, it still portrayed the 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 thing that was supposed to be uh, uh, visualized and. All manner of people, okay, struggling to survive, whether they was raping or, or, or robbing or eating people, you know. Because when I woke up, that's those are all the things that popped in my head. And the dream was, uh, it was, it was people like kicking down doors and you know and they wasn't even like army or nothing like that they just was like regular civilians man going house to house and that's in the scriptures man and it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of the pride the city shall be troubled the house shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid and that's what i seen in the dream man okay so these prophecies are going to come true man just like that rfid microchip prophecy if economic collapses keep on happening around the globe, okay? All right? What what do you think they're going to have? They're going to be forced to to uh uh to implement this this RFID microchip, okay? Just like Aaron Russo said, man. So, this this time is uh is very prophetic, man very prophetic before the before the Lord comes back okay our Savior Yahweh Shai comes back man and he's he's searching he's searching Jerusalem okay for the men that cry inside for his name man and the abominations on this earth man okay he's looking and if you if it behooves you, man, to pick up these scriptures, man, and, and get to read them, man, okay? Because this is nothing good coming here, man, nothing. This is going to be the worst time in the world, just like Daniel said, okay? I think I have that one, too. Uh, one second. If I don't got it, I'll get it right now. And this is Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay. So when that coming destruction comes here, all right, via those uh, nuclear missiles, all right, because those those are prophetic too, man. Okay, the prophets were writing about those uh in their own uh way, in the way that they saw fit because of that time. All right, so all this stuff is coming to pass, man. And it even says that, and I think it's uh. One second.
All right, I found it. And it's going to be the last one, and then I'm going to close it out. It says, uh, this is Habakkuk 2. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run it, run that readeth it. And that's what we're doing, man. We're running. Okay. And when, when it's talking about running, it means go tell it. Okay. So we, we, we read the prophecies. We understand the scriptures. All right. We, we understand the dark sins of the scriptures. We understand the mysteries. Okay. To the best of our ability through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. So we're not we're not selling wolf tickets. We're not bullshitting, okay, so to speak. All right, because we hold this thing uh, near and dear, because this is this is the uh, testimony of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're gonna tell you what the scriptures say, man, and that's the bottom line. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's what you see, man. That's what you see happening, man. Okay? Uh, uh, you got the geopolitics going on in the earth that's making uh, wars and rumors of wars. Okay? You got the uprising of the people. You got the pestilence happening. Okay? Every day they bringing out uh, something new. Like uh, I think it was two days ago, I had read an article that said they finding uh, measles again in Boston, man. Severe outbreaks. Okay. Had a list of the places where these people went, man. So yeah, th these things are happening, man. That RFID microchip is coming. All right. It's going to be race riots. It's going to be FEMA camps, uh, concentration camps all over the place. That's because we read that in the scriptures, man. It, the Lord, he, he said it. He said it's going to happen, so it's going to happen, man. All right? The Lord is not a liar, man. And, and you, you naysayers, y'all going to get the full blunt bro. Of of this uh, uh, final conclusion, man, it's gonna be death for y'all. All right. So with that, I want to say all praise is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash. All right, and double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom.